Who was James Webb? And why did NASA name the largest space telescope in history after him? Be cordially welcome to this new documentary. I am the engineer Hitakel Morrison, and thank you for deciding to watch this educational content. You will learn about the impressive career, contributions and life of Mr. James Edwin Webb, with unpublished data, such as Mr. Webb's conversation with the President of the United States John Kennedy. Do not stop watching this documentary until the end, it promises that you will discover shocking and interesting information. From an engineer's perspective, we start. The most modern and advanced space telescope of humanity that we know today with the name of James Webb, was initially called Next Generation Space Telescope, until in 2022 it was renamed with the name of James Webb. But why did they name this modern space observatory that will peer further into the universe than any previous optical or infrared telescope, probing potentially habitable worlds and exploring the mysteries of dark energy? What reasons and arguments justify giving the name of James Webb to the most important telescope in history that will offer unprecedented resolution and sensitivity, and will allow a wide range of research in the fields of astronomy and cosmology? Let's see how James Edwin Webb, after whom the James Webb Telescope is named, became the second administrator in the history of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA. In a stellar time that allowed him to be part of the foundations of that important space agency and contribute to the most emblematic space exploration projects in the history of mankind. But first, I ask you to support us by liking this video, sharing this video with your contacts, and subscribing to this channel, turning on notifications, so with your support, we can continue to frequently generate interesting documentaries on aerospace technology and the universe. Thank you for contributing to the creation of educational content. James Edwin Webb believed that NASA had to strike a balance between human spaceflight and science, because such a combination would serve as a catalyst for strengthening the universities and aerospace industry of the United States as a nation. This is James Edwin Webb, an American graduate in education, experience manager, lawyer, and businessman who was a NASA administrator and it is in honor of whom this already iconic telescope was named after James Webb. Mr. James Webb was the second administrator in the history of NASA from February 14, 1961 to October 7, 1968, the first was T. Keith Glennon. James Webb participated in World War II within the United States Marine Corps in 1944. After the end of the war, he returned to Washington and after serving as executive assistant to O. Max Gardner, then Under Secretary of the Treasury, he was appointed Director of the Budget Office in the Executive Office of the President, a position he held until 1949. He was asked by the President of the United States, Harry S. Truman, to accept the position of Assistant Secretary of State of the U.S. Department of State. When the Truman administration ended in early 1953, Mr. Webb left Washington for a position with the Kerr MCG Oil Corporation in Oklahoma City. James Webb returned to Washington on February 14, 1961, when he accepted the position of NASA Administrator proposed to him by United States President John F. Kennedy. Under the direction of Mr. James Webb, the agency carried out one of the most impressive projects in history, which had the objective of landing an American on the moon before the end of the decade, the Apollo Project. NASA said in a statement that James Edwin Webb did more for science than perhaps any other government official and that it is only fitting that the next generation space telescope bear his name. Although President John F. Kennedy had committed the nation to landing a man on the moon before the decade was out, Mr. Webb believed that the space program was more than a political career. He believed that NASA had to strike a balance between human spaceflight and science because such a combination would serve as a catalyst for strengthening the nation's universities and aerospace industry. As part of an oral history project sponsored by the Lyndon B. Johnson Library in Austin, Texas, Mr. Webb was remembered by making public his conversations with President Kennedy and Vice President Lyndon Johnson. In one of the transcripts of the conversation, Mr. James Webb clearly states, and as far as I'm concerned, I'm not going to run a program that's just a single program. If you want me to be the administrator, it's going to be a balanced program that do the work for the country. Mr. Webb's vision of a balanced program resulted in a decade of space science research that remains unprecedented today. 
During his tenure, NASA invested in the development of robotic spacecraft, which explored the lunar environment so astronauts could later, and sent scientific probes to Mars and Venus, giving Americans their first glimpse of the strange landscape of space. Exterior As early as 1965, Mr. Webb had also written that a large space telescope, then known as the Large Space Telescope, should become a major NASA effort. By the time Webb retired a few months before the first moon landing in July 1969, NASA had launched more than 75 space science missions to study stars and galaxies, our own sun, and the as yet unknown environment of space above Earth's atmosphere, laying the groundwork for for the most successful period of astronomical discovery in history, which continues today. Webb also supported behind-the-scenes science by enhancing the role of scientists in key ways, and giving them more control in the science mission selection process. It was Mr. Webb who created the NASA University program, which established grants for space research, funded the construction of new laboratories at universities, and provided scholarships for graduate students. The program also encouraged university presidents and vice presidents to actively participate in the NASA Space Science Program and to publicly support all NASA programs. Undoubtedly, James Edwin Webb was an experienced manager, lawyer, and businessman, becoming president and vice president of several private companies and serving on the board of directors of the McDonnell Aircraft Company. However, he was neither a scientist nor an engineer, something he noted when President Kennedy asked him to consider the position of NASA Administrator. He once said in an interview, I felt like I wasn't really the best person for the NASA job. I thought someone who knew more about rockets and about space would be a better person. But John F. Kennedy, the President of the United States who appointed him to NASA, did not see it that way. With his deep political insight and exceptional management skills, Mr. Webb was perfect for the job, in President Kennedy's view. He made it clear to Webb that the NASA administrator's job was a political job. I needed someone who could handle the big issues of national and international politics. Under the direction of Mr. Webb, NASA undertook one of the most impressive projects in history, putting a man on the moon. Do you think the honor of naming the most important space telescope of our era after Mr. James Webb is deserved? I would like to read your reflections in the comments of this video, I invite you to start a productive debate, I will read your opinions. As NASA Administrator Sean O'Keefe said when announcing the new name for the Next Generation Space Telescope, it is fitting that Hubble's successor be named after James Webb. Thanks to his efforts, we were able to see for the spectacular landscape of outer space for the first time. It took our nation on its first voyages of exploration, turning our imaginations into reality. In fact, it laid the groundwork at NASA for one of the most successful periods of astronomical discovery. As a result, we are rewriting textbooks today with the help of the Hubble Space Telescope, the Chandra X-ray Observatory and the James Webb Telescope. As usual, we appreciate you informing us. It is a real pleasure to be able to provide you with the main news, trends and developments about the most important aspects of aerospace technology and the universe from the perspective of an engineer. Be sure to follow us on all our social networks. I am the engineer Hitakel Morrison and I invite you to meet again in a future installment.